Well, you tonight, you pay good money to fly, but end up with a little less leg room, some tighter seats, and little overhead storage. What's worse, there's a dirty secret in the air that could make you sick in more ways than one. Janet Masters thinks back fondly on her anniversary trip to Hawaii. To a great time away, relaxing. But it was her flight back home on United Airlines that was truly unforgettable. So I've seen and dealt with a lot of gross things. Masters says she dug into the seat back pocket in front of her and pulled out something other than a magazine. Here's someone's bodily fluids that I'm being exposed to. It was an air sickness bag and she says it was filled to the brim. Smelling that smell was just totally, totally disgusting. You may think that between flights planes get scrubbed down but there are no regulations requiring airlines to do that. And travel experts say when pinched economically that's one of the first areas carriers cut spending. Today we're going to talk about pathogens on planes. A meeting of scientists from the American Society of Microbiology revealed that disease-causing bacteria will linger on plane surfaces for up to a week. Another study suggests that your risk of catching a cold is increased by 20 percent when on a plane, with much of the danger coming from the people sitting within two rows of you. It's so yikes. It's so beyond yikes. Flight attendant Sean Kathleen says passengers only make the situation worse. There was a gentleman treating his warts with compound W. She's been so shocked at the unsanitary behavior of travelers, she started a passenger shaming website chronicling all the things people leave behind on planes, from gum to dirty diapers and even men's underwear. Kathleen says it's no wonder planes are filthy when passengers clip toenails, dry their shoes with the air vent, and shamelessly stick their bare feet everywhere. The airline should be responsible for that. Consumer attorney Stuart Talley says regardless of what passengers do, the airlines are responsible for the plane's cleanliness, just like they are for lost luggage. Well, getting a refund of your ticket price, I think, would be a reasonable result. If you're still with us, United <laughs> says flight attendants are trained to clean the cabins and have special kits to do so, but they didn't say how often that gets done. As for the Masters, United offered to change their seat assignment and offered the couple a $300 credit.